This is our Airstream that we named Sunny. And we're in the great outdoors, which Shay loves. As long <laughs> as I have access to a clean bathroom mm. and a cozy bed. I have successfully made it to the campground without the trailer detaching from the back of the truck. <laughs> if you've seen the episode on Netflix where we redo the Airstream, there were so many more design details and decisions that we can share with you, and that's what we'll be doing today. The dream was always a striped awning on an Airstream and... Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. All polished up, and our kids it love it. It feels like and a home play. away from home. A place to roast hot dogs. Sid's famous hot dog recipe. <laughs> don't tell, don't give away my secret recipe, dude. Come on. So Sid's gonna take the girls for a second and then I'm gonna take you inside. Welcome to our Airstream. I am so excited about this tour. We have waited until a beautiful sunny day in Utah to show you Sunny. And I'm gonna take you from this side to the back. I really wanted to create this huge U-shaped area here so we could play games, eat dinners together, and just hang out. And I love that I got the warmth of the walnut, which is like a very mid-century stain and material to contrast against the light tones everywhere else. We need to sleep three kids in the Airstream. And so you can push a button and then this table goes down and then arrange the cushion so it's one big bed. As an interior designer, I had very specific ideas for what makes a home feel homey and a lot of comfortable materials go along with that. So I didn't want the classic like vinyl Airstream that had like that hard foam cushion. These are what we use on our sofas. So they're down wrapped, they have linen, but they have this coating on them to make them very durable for all of the dirt that we track in here. We were able to clean up the windows and keep them original. The Re-Paradise team, which we worked with to build out the Airstream, they just kept telling me, imagine this in like a level seven earthquake, cause that's what happens when you are pulling the Airstream. No swinging fixtures. This one is, you know, has a rod and it stays still. Same with the sconces. Moving into the kitchen. Of course I was picking like, vinyl plank flooring, thinking that that would be the most durable because that's a really durable material in homes. But I learned that because you have that interlocking kind of mechanism that when the Airstream starts to move, they can split and buckle. And so I found this material that is basically a sheet of plastic that looks like a light wood floor. And I love that it looks like something that I would use in one of our interior spaces. I knew I wanted like this moment where you'd have that sink at the window experience like we have in homes. And so I did this Kohler pull down faucet, which is very functional and a small sink. And this sink even comes with a breadboard that you can um, place here so that you get one continuous countertop. We did uh, quartz countertops throughout. It's a material that I use in homes that we design. And then I did this cute little mosaic. One thing I wanted to point out is that I love my little toggle switches that we did. In a lot of Airstreams, you'll see that they have the upper cabinetry that you like pull like this. And I just felt like I would sacrifice the storage so that I can get a more open feeling in our kitchen. So we eliminated all that and then just did a hanging rod here. I love that because this is so tight that like when you hit your hips up against it, you're just going up against the leather, but it also ties in to the walnut tone on our dining table. You get these little pullouts for storage. We have a fridge here and then a small little freezer. And then I wanted to incorporate as many interior-like fixtures as possible. And so I did these little envelope style sconces. I love this aged brass look and it kind of warms up all the white that we did in this space. And then I'm gonna take you through our tiny little door. Everything is so small. And I guess I should take my sunglasses off. I realized that if I put a door on this side and this side of the bathroom, then I could create an entire bathroom space. I wanted to make sure that this felt like a retreat. Everything in Airstream needs to be super lightweight. So I ordered this, you've seen these like 
steel look shower doors online. I just ordered one that fit the size and I love that it gives this nice contrast, this really high end look to the shower. I had my heart set on actual real stone tile in our shower. So we made sure that the weight was balanced on both sides of the bathroom. We have the quartz countertop on one side and then the marble on the other to make sure I got my beautiful tile in the shower. It's narrow, but it's actually, it's pretty comfortable for an RV shower. Then on this side, I love how this turned out. It makes me so happy. You have this beautiful glass uh, window here and you can look out and just see the trees and it's really peaceful. There's another wheel on this side. So what I did was I created a shelf for us to stack towels and toilet paper. This one is a fixed panel, but I wanted it to look like a drawer. And then on this side, I get a drawer for toiletries. I don't have it set up right now, but I carry like a, a folding mirror that I can just set up when we're using it. But to be honest, I don't really want to look at myself that much when we're camping. So it's kind of nice to not have a mirror and only get it out when necessary. The bedroom. You guys, when I bought this Airstream, Reparadise was like, you're gonna have to do a custom bed and it'll probably be about a full size and you'll need to turn it this way. And I was like, there was no way I am sleeping in a full bed. Yeah, the drama queen is coming out in me, I guess right now. So what I did was I said, I will just have very little walking space around my bed so I can get a bigger mattress. We have a tight space through here, but I got my queen size bed. A lot of Airstreams, the beds are turned this way, but I didn't want that experience. I wanted to be able to look to the end of the Airstream and have the headboard at the window and it worked. We had to measure everything down to the inch, but it worked. We designed this headboard at McGee & Co that has this curved corner detail. And so I had one custom made to the right height for the Airstream so that it mimics the curvature of the Airstream. I really wanted to make sure that all the materials were really consistent throughout so it didn't become jumbled in a small space. So we carried the same cabinet material, this bleached oak tone into the bedroom, the bathroom and the kitchen. And then I did these little leather poles, but this is great because it's extra storage for us and a little place to set your phone. I'm not going to show you this because it would be kind of a pain to take all the bedding off, but underneath our mat this we have a piano hinge on our mattress so we can actually lift up the mattress and store bags and clothes that's the end of the tour it's a small tour but it's one that is filled with love i had been pinning i think i have a pinterest board that started like i don't know probably more than a decade ago that had airstream inspiration and so it was really cool to be able to think outside of the box and how to create multi-function spaces throughout and then also make something like an rv feel like a second home